What does your work involve? Oh, on a day to day, I build computer chips, so I make computers work. So it, most of the day, it involves you know meetings and uh, code writing and sitting in front of a computer, uh, doing layout or making stuff happen, PowerPoints, whatever, in order to make chips work, so they can talk to flash devices. How many years have you attended college? Um, I have a BS in electrical engineering from the University of Colorado for four years. Tell me about the most challenging engineering project that you have been involved with. Oh, I've been involved with a lot, but I'll talk about one that was involved with you guys. It was when I was in college. I actually did uh, robotics myself. Uh, back in 99, I competed in a contest similar to this one. It's the International Autonomous Ground Robotics. And one of the things I like to talk about is sonar. Put a sonar system on the robot so you could tell how far things were away. And I spent like weeks working on that thing and trying to get it to work. And uh, somebody forgot to tell me that when you're playing with sonar, the speed of sound has to bounce off something and come back. So it wasn't until I multiplied all my equations by two that everything would just start working. But that's kind of the first time I learned what it meant to be an engineer and become an engineer. It's what drove me. It was one of the most complicated things I've done you know, recently. What do you like most about engineering? Uh, the challenge, problem solving, the ability to go solve problems. Uh, the money's not bad either. It's a good way to get paid, which is good. <laughs> um, did your field of engineering require specific minimum years of college education? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you need at least four years of a BS. Uh, most of the people I work with have a master's and some have PhDs, but bare minimum you usually want to have at least four years. Um, how can schools better prepare students for a future in engineering career? And what skills do s schools need to do a better job preparing students with? So in my opinion, the most critical skill of an engineer is problem solving. It doesn't matter what type of engineer you are, electrical or chemical or whatever. If you can solve problems, then you're useful. And that's what engineering is. Um, you can learn a particular trade like how to touch a computer or build a bridge or something like that, but ultimately it's about the ability to problem solve. So anything that you can do in the school curriculum that helps you solve problems like the Lego competitions, here's a task, here's a job, go get it done, that's what enables kids to be effective uh, engineers. Right behind that would be communication. The more effective you are communicating, the more effective an engineer you are.